In this video, I'm talking about how hearing loss can impact more than just your ability to communicate. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. I often talk about hearing loss and how it can negatively impact your ability to communicate in a variety of different situations. However, I rarely talk about all these other areas of your life that could be negatively impacted by untreated hearing loss. And on top of that, I also rarely talk about all these other areas that could be positively impacted with proper hearing care. Over the past several years, research has clearly started to identify that hearing loss impacts more than just your ability to communicate. As we've learned, hearing also encompasses multiple dimensions of our overall well-being, including our social, emotional, cognitive, and physical well-being. This is why Phonak, today's video sponsor, started their Well Hearing is Well Being initiative. The concept of this initiative is simple. It's time to change the conversation from hearing loss a sensory problem to hearing care a vital part of healthy living. Phonak's purpose with this initiative is to help you connect socially and thrive mentally and emotionally through better hearing care. Let's explore the three core dimensions of well-being impacted by hearing rehabilitation, starting with social emotional well-being. We as humans are social beings. Even introverts who tend not to like to go out into public areas with people they don't know thrive when they have meaningful relationships with family and friends. Research continues to indicate that having supportive social ties with others is linked to having longer life expectancy, better mental health, and better physical health. So how does hearing loss negatively impact our ability to stay socially connected? Well, research has associated hearing loss with having smaller social networks, feelings of loneliness, restricted interpersonal communication behavior, and a negative impact on perceived quality of relationships with others. If hearing better could have an effect on each of these associations, just imagine how much of a positive impact it would be on your social emotional well-being. However, achieving better social emotional well-being requires more than just treating your hearing loss with hearing aids. It requires a family-centered approach to hearing treatment where family and friends are included in the treatment process. If this is done right, then you will be well on your way to better social emotional well-being. Next, let's discuss the second core dimension of well hearing as well being, which is cognitive well being. Perhaps the most attention grabbing hearing related headline over the past decade has been the link between hearing loss and cognitive decline. While researchers have yet to identify whether or not the relationship between hearing loss and cognitive decline is causal, they definitely have a very high correlation. It's so high that I've even started to incorporate cognitive screening inside of my hearing clinic. In fact, the Lancet Commission recently identified that hearing loss is the leading potentially modifiable risk factor for dementia, accounting for 8% or nearly a quarter of all potentially modifiable risk factors, meaning that treating your hearing loss could potentially play a major role in slowing down your rate of cognitive decline as you get older. If it turns out that treating your hearing loss has a direct impact on your overall cognitive fitness, which encompasses thinking, learning, recognition, communication, and decision-making, the sooner you begin to receive hearing treatment, the better it will be for your overall well-being. Finally, let's discuss the third core dimension of well-hearing as well-being, which is your physical well-being. Did you know that Johns Hopkins University identified that even a mild level of hearing loss can increase your risk of actually falling by three times, and that this number goes up with an increasing severity of hearing loss? This link between hearing loss and increased prevalence of falling is very robust, and researchers speculate that lack of environmental awareness could compromise your ability to navigate your physical space. If you're able to improve your environmental awareness through better hearing, then it could reduce your risk of falling. So what's my point? Why am I even explaining all of this to you? The point is, hearing loss can affect more than just your ability to communicate with others. And this is why treating your hearing loss with hearing aids like the Phonak Odeo Paradise can not only improve your ability to communicate, but it can improve your overall well-being as well. 
The Audeo Paradise hearing aids have the ability to address all of the three core dimensions of your overall well-being. For social-emotional well-being, features like dynamic noise cancellation, binaural voice stream technology, and Roger remote microphones can all help you communicate better with others, keeping you more socially engaged, even in complex situations. For cognitive well-being, increased audibility of speech along with features like Adaptive Phonak Digital 2.0, Speech Enhancer, and one of my personal favorites, AutoSense OS 4.0, could help to reduce the amount of listening effort that you have with an untreated hearing loss. And for physical well-being, using the Phonak Audeo Paradise hearing aids to gain access to sounds around you, helping to restore your environmental awareness and potentially reduce your risk of falling, all while making you feel way more comfortable to go out again and get some physical activity. If you're someone with hearing loss, but you say, oh, it's not that bad, or, you know, I hear fine, then you're missing the opportunity to improve more than just your ability to communicate. You're missing the opportunity to improve your social, emotional, cognitive, and physical health. So the next time you say, huh, or what, or could you repeat that again? Just remember, it is more than just treating your hearing loss with hearing aids, because at the end of the day, well hearing is well being. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. If you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.